Well, I'm pretty sure it is your last day to get 20 Accentures towards winning this trip plus $5,000 of cash, people. So if you have not done so yet and you'd like to enter to win a super minty and pristine 1996 Ford F-250 7.3 Power Strip plus five grand, 20 times entries is our best entry deal and you can get 20 Accentures right now. The 20 Accentures are ending I believe today is your last day. Could be your last 24 hours if it's the day before the last, but either way, you're almost out of time. Get 20X entries towards winning this truck plus $5,000 cash, and you can be just like Billy from Kansas that won this truck plus five grand, which is going off to him in the next week, I believe. It's such an awesome truck, and uh, you could be next. Get in while you can, lmpgear.com. Buy anything on the store. Riffraff diesel tuning stuff, it's good stuff. Just listen to it. Well, guys, we made it back over to the house. And today we're gonna to be working on Rosing 24V is the goal, and hopefully we can get that truck to have a hitch again. Shop coveralls, we sell these. These are our shop coveralls on lmpgear.com. If you wanna buy a set, they're freaking super durable, super nice. We sell the hat too. How you doing, Scout? We're gonna be hopefully reinstalling the hitch off of Rosine. You know, we took it off because she put a roll pan on the truck. However, it's gotta have a hitch. I mean, it, it's just, you can't do anything with it because they ain't got no hitch. They can't pull a trailer with it. If we're in a pinch and we need her truck, uh, there's no hitch for anything you need a hitch for. So it's kind of inconvenient. So we're gonna see if there's anything that we can do to get this hitch on that truck, given the fact that it does have a roll pan as well. Now here's Rosine. Here's the roll pan I was talking about. A little dirty right now, a little bit, little bit coated in dirt. But here is the rear end of the truck here that we're trying to put this back onto. I just don't know if we're gonna be able to put it back on without making any modifications or not. We would either possibly have to make a modification to the roll pan or possibly have to make a modification to the hitch. But I'd like to at least see what we can do and if it's possible, get it reinstalled because it would just be nice to be able to actually use this thing for truck stuff. Well, I had my lovely wife come out and help me get this lined up the best that I could. Um, so you can see I got the hitch with one bolt in on each side on the very back, just holding it kind of in the spot that I think we're gonna go with here. And I had a couple of options and I feel like this is gonna be the best bet. Normally, this hitch receiver end here would stick out to about there. And of course the bumper would hang out and it would stick out past the bumper. But the truck actually has factory holes that are slid back and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So there's one, two, three holes that are originally in this to be able to bolt this tow package onto this truck. However, originally those holes were lined up with here, here, and here, okay? But instead, I'm just sliding it back over to this hole, and this one still lines up in the middle. Instead of this bolt running through the back, this bolt now runs through the middle. And then the bolt that used to ordinarily be in the middle of the hitch right here is now just on the very end. So basically the hitch just slid back four or five inches from where it would be normally. And that's pretty much the way that we have to do it to be able to use this thing on this truck. 
and have it not look ridiculous since it does have a roll pan and not an actual traditional style bumper. But if you look close, look at the gap on the other side, it doesn't quite touch. It's about two inches away right there from actually being flush up with the frame to be able to bolt in snug and it is touching the roll pan right there. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna be taking this hitch off. I'm gonna lightly sand it and paint it with some Rust-Oleum paint. But what I wanna do is go to the hardware store. I'm gonna grab a grinding wheel. That's basically this thickness of this steel right here. And then what I'm gonna be able to do is take a level, hold it to the side of this, have a perfectly flush line straight out. And I'm gonna make about a two inch to three inch length cut. So this section of hitch here on each side, just this thin piece of steel, can actually sit up into the roll pan there just a little bit. That way it'll bolt on flush and be where it's supposed to be. Let's get this thing off though. We've got some paint in the barn. We're going to get to sanding off some of the loose metal, getting this thing painted, run to the hardware store, grab a grinding wheel, come back, and then uh, before I take this off though, I'm going to mark where I'm going to cut so that while it's still drying, I can cut my notches that I need for the hitch, grab some more bolts, some grade 8 bolts, and then come back and get this thing bolted up. It sounds in theory like it should be pretty simple. Should be, so let's get to it. Took a level, hold it flush against. There's like a flat edge that's about two or three inches on the bottom of the bumper. Took my marker, got it marked. Same with the other side. Make sure it's sitting flat against the tow package and then tilt it. Sitting flat against the tow package and then flat against the bottom of the roll pan. Mark it. And we should be good to go. Well, I believe we're good to go. I got the grinding wheel here that matches the thickness of the steel that needs to go in between the cut that we're making. I got the um, info on the sticker for the hitch masked off and painted the entire hitch flat black. Everything looks much, much better. Looks almost new. So now we're gonna get to getting this over here to the truck, lining it up. We gotta make our cut first. And I actually not only took the level, held it against where the hitch was gonna be, drew the line, I actually measured it three inches out to here. And then I put a piece of masking tape across there. That way if the marker does run out from the heat and the cutting, I have a definite stopping point to stop cutting at three inches of total length from the back edge here on both sides. That's how I have it marked off. So we're gonna get to hooking up the grinding wheel and cutting this out. able to reinstall the tow package kit like I said though we just had to readjust it to make it work it was originally slid up into those bolt holes there but what we were able to do is use some other factory holes that were just the exact same size but slid a little bit further back and it actually worked out perfect I got three grade 8 bolts on each side that work out perfectly. And them dudes are torqued on as much as I could give it with the Milwaukee impact gun. And uh, they're not coming off, trust me. I'll show you a little bit closer up of the actual tow package and where I had to make the cuts and stuff. It worked really, really nicely. There really isn't a whole lot to it. And I didn't know that these second gens came with holes from the factory to be able to slide this hitch back if you wanted to. I had no idea. I don't know if that was intended for that purpose or not, but it works out. So if you look here, you can see I made those real small cuts and it worked out perfect to line up to give it just that little extra that we needed to line this up. And then of course, it just kind of sits down in that groove and gives it the space that it needs and it doesn't touch the bottom of the roll pan. It's not like bottomed out and, and like folding the bottom of the roll pan in further. Um, it, it actually just hardly doesn't touch all the way across underneath. And then I re-ran the wiring down for this and plugged that in and uh, it looks 
awesome. It's going to be super usable now. You know, there's still some other things she'd like to get done to the truck that maybe will help her finish up here. You know, recently when we've had the giveaway trucks, the giveaway trucks are needing finished up before the giveaway's over. So it's just been hard to like go like, oh, we've got extra time to kill. You know, let's, let's, you know, finish a project that isn't going to be a truck that needs to be done within the next few weeks to go off to one of you guys. So uh, maybe we'll find some extra time here and be able to finish up a few more things on Rosine. But fun fact for the Ford, um, I told you guys I was wanting to do a tow package on that truck and I still would like to. But that truck doesn't actually have any factory frame holes for a tow package. So I don't know if maybe that was something from factory, like if you did not order a tow package with your Ford truck back in the day, the holes weren't pre-drilled, I don't know. But I know that on the truck that's out there that we're giving away, that one right there, there's not even holes for a hitch to be mounted up onto the back end of that thing. So I'm very shocked by that. But um, then, you know, you got Dodge gives you two sets. I don't know why, but they do. So we might actually do a couple more things on Rosine here soon, like get some small black screws and nuts for this license plate. That way she doesn't have to have these ugly zip ties on it um, because of course you know that's uh it's not the prettiest thing in the world that's just a temporary solution i put on there so she could at least drive her truck with a plate on it and uh, we might we might do a couple other things to rosine here real soon but that's going to be it for rosine today however guys do not forget that if you want to enter to win this truck this is your last chance here for your 20x entries it's seriously this simple you just go to lmpgear.com there's a link in the description you can get shop coveralls like this you can get a shirt like this a hat like this one maybe all you got to do is go to the store buy anything you like that you see and um, we've got tons of stuff check out the website it is new so those of you who have been ordering for the last few years it is updated everything that we used to sell is still on there and more it's just set up a little bit different to be a little cleaner so everything's still on there you just got to look around a little bit through the tabs and you'll see that everything is very well organized it's just it's just different anyways guys thank you so much for all the love and support we couldn't do what we do without you guys placing the orders on the website so i highly appreciate it we'll catch you guys in the next video peace